I'm Hayley and I'm a final year law student and I'm going to talk a little bit about being a changeover. Uh, I originally applied to and studied politics, psychology and sociology before I made the decision to change into law. It was a decision I took because I'd been talking to a lot of my friends who studied law. Um, I come to Cambridge not really knowing anything about law, hadn't even considered applying to it before I got here because I knew nothing about it. I thought it sounded boring and dull. When I spoke to my friends and we started to sort of have debates on political issues and how that overlapped with legal issues and sort of the breadth of law became apparent to me and I started to think more seriously about whether this was the academic subject that I wished to study. Um, when I considered it for a while and I'd done a bit more research into the subject, I spoke to the law tutors in my college and they arranged an interview for me. Uh, in my interview I was given an extract of a statute and asked to talk through it and then apply it to some problem questions. They also asked me the obvious questions, sort of, why law, do you want to follow this through into career in law or something like that. Um, so it was very similar to the sort of interview you would get if you applied to law straight off. Um, on top of that, they specified that I had to get a certain grade in my first year in politics, psychology and sociology. Having done that, I successfully moved into being a changeover in law. Um, what that basically means is you have a two-year course of ten modules, five a year. Um, it seems a little bit odd that you're doing a ten-module course when the people who are doing three-year course are doing 14 modules, which means that they get a lot more choice in some of their subject options. Um, I think I was actually surprised about how many choices I get. I still get three. This gives quite a big range of subjects for you to choose from as the compulsory ones cover a very large area themselves. You have criminal law, constitutional law, equity, EU, it really does cover a huge amount. Having been a changeover and sort of stepping into law, having never done it before, having not really having a background in sort of legal issues or anything, it was quite intimidating to start with. Um, it was quite difficult being taught with the, the same year students who've had another year of law um, and it can be a little bit scary to start with just because it feels quite difficult to be around these people. You definitely settle into it very quickly and it's a really challenging and really, really rewarding degree. Um, I think the best thing about it is that it's a fully qualifying law degree and you do it in two years, so it, it's, it gives you everything you need but I've had the sort of the background of another subject as well. And this isn't something that I think puts off employers at all. I think it's it's definitely seen as a positive thing. In my personal experience, I've sort of talked about the fact that non-law students are quite popular with law firms, so I've got a little bit of non-law while still having a qualifying law degree, and I think that's something that's really positive. And, and to a certain extent, it's it's let me come into law with a slightly different view of the subject, my experience as a changeover has been a very positive one. Um, I've enjoyed getting to know people in different years because you have some of your subjects and lectures with the year below or two years below you. Um, and I think it's been really challenging and worthwhile.